On October 9, 1978, a special celebration took place at the renowned Tavern on the Green in Central Park, New York City, marking two significant milestones, the 38th birthday of John Lennon and the third birthday of his son, Sean Lennon. The tavern, which had been meticulously renovated in 1974 under the ownership of Warner Leroy, quickly became a beloved gathering place for the Lennon family. It was a spot where young Sean would play with Leroy's own son, Max. The birthday party was both an intimate family gathering and a celebration with close friends, including Yoko Ono, the couple's son's playmates, and their families. Tavern on the Green, with its inviting atmosphere and artistic history, was a favorite location for Lennon during the late 1970s, offering a warm, vibrant setting that embodied the creative spirit of New York City's cultural community. Lennon and Ono ensured the event was memorable for the young guests, providing gifts and organizing entertainment, including a magician and a clown. The tavern, with its picturesque surroundings, served as the perfect backdrop for these cherished family moments. John and Sean would return the following year to celebrate their birthdays once more at the same venue. Tavern on the Green was not just a dining establishment. It was a cultural hub for celebrities, artists, and intellectuals. Over the years, it hosted numerous prominent figures, including Grace Kelly and Faye Ray. It also became a sought-after venue for Broadway show openings, further cementing its status as an iconic New York City landmark. However, the tavern faced challenges in the 21st century. After filing for bankruptcy in 2009, it closed its doors but reopened in 2010 as an information center and gift shop. Following additional renovations, it resumed operations as a restaurant in 2014. Though it temporarily closed again in 2020, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Fortunately, Tavern on the Green was able to resume its operations in 2021, continuing to serve as a beloved part of New York's vibrant cultural landscape. In addition to the family celebration at Tavern on the Green, another notable event occurred on John's 40th birthday in 1980. To mark the occasion, Yoko Ono hired a pilot to skywrite a special message above the Dakota building. By midday, dozens of fans had gathered outside the building unaware that Lennon was not present. Two women, showing their affection for Lennon, laid out a sign reading, Happy Birthday John Lennon, on the pavement below his apartment. Lennon had just returned from the hit factory, and, without many fans noticing, he and Yoko were driven back to the Dakota. At around 5 p.m., the sky riding began over Central Park, prompting the crowd to rush there in hopes of catching a glimpse of Lennon. Instead, they saw Sean and assistant Fred Seaman on the roof of the Dakota, while John remained asleep and missed the spectacle. The sky writing, which read, Happy Birthday John and Sean, Love Yoko, was displayed nine times in the sky and quickly became a major news item on US television. Later, Yoko Ono stepped outside to thank the fans, explaining that John was asleep and would not be coming out to join them. Later that day, Lennon and Ono posed for a formal birthday portrait. Their assistant, Fred Seaman, informed the press that the couple planned to tour Japan, the United States, and Europe the following spring, with a return to England after nearly a decade of absence. Just days later, on October 13, 1980, John and Yoko hosted another birthday celebration for Sean at Tavern on the Green, attended by close friends, including their art dealer and confidant Sam Green and Sean's nanny Helen Seaman. <laughs>